Welcome to this comic breakdown where we explore Black Adam, a character whose origins are steeped in ancient Egyptian mythology, more specifically in the Egyptian god Montu, and the intricate tapestry of war deities. Far from just another anti-hero, Black Adam embodies the rich cultural heritage of both Egyptian and Greco-Roman pantheons. But how did Black Adam evolve from a straightforward villain into the complex anti-hero we see today? And what's the connection between his Egyptian origins and the Roman myths of old? Let's embark on this journey through cultural heritage, DC multiverse, and modern superhero mythology. Originally introduced in 1945, Black Adam, or Teth Adam, emerged as a formidable nemesis to Captain Marvel, now known as Shazam. His story, however, is far from simple. Depending on the narrative, his origins oscillate between two powerful pantheons, the Egyptian gods in comics and the Greco-Roman deities. In the most prominent version, Black Adam was an ancient Egyptian prince the wizard Shazam chose to be his champion. This wizard endowed him with powers drawn from six eminent Egyptian gods, forming the acronym Shazam. Shu, the god of air, bestows upon Black Adam unparalleled endurance and life force, allowing him to withstand immense challenges. Horus, recognized by his falcon head, is the god of the sky, war, and hunting, granting Black Adam incredible speed and the ability to soar above his adversaries. Amon, often linked with the sun god, Ra, provides unmatched physical strength, making Black Adam a powerhouse among war deities. Zehuti, or Thoth, the god of wisdom and writing, blesses him with profound knowledge and strategic acumen, essential for both battle and leadership. Aton, another solar deity, symbolizes supreme authority and divine power, enhancing Black Adam's mystical abilities. Montu, the revered Montu Egyptian god, embodies war and valor, instilling in Black Adam the indomitable courage to face any foe. These gods collectively root Black Adam's abilities in ancient Egyptian mythology. It's important to note that over time some adaptations have swapped these gods with others, like replacing Montu with Mehen, the serpent god of protection, or altering the god associated with speed from Horus to another. These changes reflect the evolving nature of myth and storytelling, adapting ancient legends to fit new narratives. Let's compare Montu to his counterparts in other mythologies, such as Mars, the prominent Roman god of war. Celebrated as a fierce warrior deity, Montu was central to the military prowess of ancient Egypt. His depictions often showcase him wielding weapons like spears and scimitars, and his association with the bull symbolizes strength and virility. However, in some modern retellings, especially in the context of the broader Shazam mythology, Black Adam's powers are occasionally linked to Greco-Roman deities like Shazam. In Roman beliefs, Mars was not only a god of war but also a guardian of agriculture, reflecting a duality of destruction and creation. Unlike the often impulsive Greek Ares, Mars was revered as a disciplined and honorable warrior embodying the might and order of Rome. This duality is part of what makes Black Adam so fascinating. He stands at the crossroads of two ancient worlds, embodying the might of Egyptian gods while also reflecting the heroic ideals of Greco-Roman mythology. Originally, Black Adam was destined to be the successor of Shazam, merging the powers of these gods into a single, formidable force. Montu's courage is particularly significant, symbolizing the bravery required to face overwhelming challenges, a trait that defines Black Adam's character. This amalgamation highlights the mythological curiosities and ancient myth comparisons that enrich his character, bridging the realms of Egyptian and Roman lore within the DC Comics history. Montu's role as a war god evolved, deeply tied to the fortunes of Thebes, where he was most prominently worshipped. His worship dates to the Old Kingdom, c. 26, 86, 21, 81 BCE. But it wasn't until the Middle Kingdom, c. 2055, 1650 BCE, that Montu became a central figure in Egyptian religion, especially in Thebes. He was often associated with Ra, and his connection to kingship made him a powerful symbol for pharaohs. The temples dedicated to Montu in Hermonthis, Medamud and Todd are architectural marvels that celebrate his significance among the pantheon of Egyptian gods. These structures, adorned with intricate carvings and depictions of Montu's falcon head and warrior iconography, emphasize his role in ancient history and underscore the enduring influence of myths and mythology on culture and art. These temples often depicted him with symbols of power and authority, such as the bull and the sun disc. He was often shown holding a spear or scimitar underscoring his martial attributes. By the New Kingdom, c. 1550-1070 BCE, Montu's prominence began to wane as Amun rose to become the chief god of Thebes. The Black Adam movie subtly incorporates these elements of ancient Egyptian mythology through visual cues. The film subtly nods to Montu through visual references such as statues and imagery. These touches remind viewers of the deep mythological roots that underpin the character, even as the story itself has evolved and changed over time, much like the shifting worship of Montu in ancient Egypt. Created by Otto Binder and C.C. Beck, Black Adam made his debut in the Marvel family number one as a corrupted champion seeking domination. Over decades, DC Comics reshaped his persona exploring themes of power, justice and redemption. This comic breakdown reveals how his character draws parallels with Montu's duality of destruction and protection. Banished for his crimes, Black Adam swore revenge, leading to his clash with the modern-day Shazam. But as the character developed, particularly in the 21st century, he was reimagined as an anti-hero, a ruler who seeks to protect his people, even if it means using extreme measures. This transformation mirrors the complexities of the gods from whom he draws his powers, especially Montu, the war god, who embodies both protection and destruction.
Writers and artists have delved into comic book mythology to craft Black Adam's narrative, intertwining his story with the expansive DC multiverse and the DC extended universe. His rule over Kandak showcases his commitment to protecting his people, albeit through often ruthless means reflecting the complexity found in many heroic myths and legends. While Montu doesn't play a central role in Black Adam's storylines, his inclusion ties the character to a broader mythological tradition. In the comics, Black Adam's moral ambiguity aligns him more with modern interpretations of ancient gods, powerful beings who are neither wholly good nor evil, but who operate according to their own codes of honor. Fans have long been fascinated by Black Adam's complex morality, a trait that distinguishes him from many other superheroes. Fans appreciate Black Adam's layered characterization and his profound connections to both Egyptian gods in comics and broader mythological themes. An interesting superhero fact is his occasional alliances and conflicts within the DC multiverse, particularly his dynamic relationships with teams like the Justice Society of America and adversaries like Shazam and Superman. While Black Adam's powers stem from the Egyptian pantheon, Shazam's abilities are granted by a fusion of Greek and Roman deities. The wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. This contrast underscores a rich tapestry of ancient myth comparisons, highlighting the diverse sources of power and virtue in superhero mythology. Shazam, the alter ego of young Billy Bateson, embodies the purest ideals of heroism. He was chosen by the wizard for his moral integrity and innocence. Black Adam, on the other hand, was the wizard's original champion, chosen for his potential as a great protector. However, after being corrupted by his power and seeking vengeance, he was deemed unworthy. This sets the stage for their rivalry. Black Adam represents what happens when power is unchecked, while Shazam symbolizes the importance of virtue and restraint. The enduring rivalry between Shazam and Black Adam epitomizes the classic struggle between order and chaos, virtue and vengeance. Their conflicts echo legendary battles such as Horus and Set or Zeus and the Titans, illustrating how mythology continues to inspire and shape modern storytelling within the DC Comics history. But there's also a connection, as Black Adam serves as both a dark mirror and a cautionary tale for Shazam. Some storylines even explore them as potential allies bound by their shared origins and the responsibilities of their powers. The 2022 release of Black Adam, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, brought this complex character into mainstream cinema, offering a fresh Black Adam movie review and sparking discussions about his portrayal. While some fans loved the film's action-packed scenes, others were divided over its storytelling. The movie had a massive budget of $200 million, sparking debates about whether it lived up to expectations. The film explores his mythological origins, adapting elements from both his comic book mythology and ancient legends. This adaptation highlights how Black Adam's story has evolved, reflecting contemporary themes of justice, power, and the consequences of vengeance. The film's portrayal of Black Adam aligns him more with Montu's dual nature, a protector who is willing to use extreme force to achieve his goals. The cinematic adaptation takes creative liberties, altering certain aspects of Black Adam's story for broader appeal. This includes adjustments to his origin story and relationships, which have been topics of discussion among fans and critics alike in various Black Adam spoiler reviews and movie reviews. The Black Adam movie and the comics differ significantly in several aspects. The movie presents Black Adam as an ancient hero turned anti-hero from Kandak, driven by the tragic loss of his son, whereas the comics depict him as Teth Adam, an ancient Egyptian corrupted by power. In the film, Black Adam is portrayed as a powerful anti-hero seeking justice for his people, while in the comics he is often a villain with a more complex, morally ambiguous nature. The movie emphasizes his near invincibility, focusing on his godlike powers, while the comics show more limitations, especially when he faces equally powerful beings. The Justice Society of America JSA plays a prominent role in the movie as both adversaries and guides, contrasting with their more complex and historical relationship with Black Adam in the comics. The film blends action with themes of revenge, justice, and the fine line between heroism and villainy, while the comics delve into darker themes like the corrupting influence of power. Culturally, the movie highlights Kandak's Middle Eastern influences, positioning Black Adam as a protector against foreign oppressors, whereas the comics focus more on his Egyptian origins and role as a ruler. Notably, the movie barely references Shazam, focusing on Black Adam's standalone story, whereas the comics closely tie him to the Shazam mythos as a primary antagonist. Finally, the movie concludes with Black Adam accepting his role as Kandak's protector, while the comics often leave his fate unresolved, emphasizing his shifting nature between villain and anti-hero. The Black Adam movie is rife with mythological curiosities and Easter eggs that pay tribute to both ancient Egyptian mythology and the expansive DC Comics lore. Notable Easter eggs include references to Dr. Fate's helmet, which hints at his connection to the Justice Society of America, and Hawkman's nth metal, a powerful element in the DC universe. There are also visual callbacks to ancient Egyptian mythology, aligning with Black Adam's roots. The movie even subtly references other DC characters and storylines, deepening its ties to the wider DC universe. Black Adam is also very toned down compared to the comics. In the paper version, it is Adam's nephew who gives him the powers, but he kills him immediately because he had deceived him precisely to obtain them. Karim, Adriana's brother, has a jacket with the magic eight ball, a reference to Shazam where the villain played by Mark Strong has a certain connection with the toy, and 
What do you think about Fonzie's cameo? In fact, Henry Winkler plays Atom Smasher's uncle, from whom he inherits the costume. But it's not the first time that Dear Henry has had to do with the DC Universe. He gave his voice to Ambush Bug in the animated series Batman, The Brave and the Bold. Have you seen Sergio Leone? Karim is watching one of his masterpieces on TV, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, which is also reflected a little in the character of Adam, an anti-hero like the protagonist of the film played by Clint Eastwood. Not only that, when he fries the members of Intergang with lightning, he does it exactly like Eastwood in the film. He also mimes the gun with his fingers, while the music from the film plays in the background. Eamon, Adriana's son, is meant to recall Billy Batson from Shazam. In fact, he also has a red hoodie and is a huge superhero fan. In his room we see a lot of DC merchandise, which is real, meaning you can buy it anywhere. Also taken from various comic book and non-comic runs, giving the idea that the comic book label also exists in the DC Cinematic Universe. However, the parallel with Billy could lead to the fact that Black Adam will give him part of his powers, making him a superhero too, which happens in the comics, as well as Adam giving Adriana powers too. Lastly, let's see the Superman Easter egg. The other little gem is that when Adam destroys things in Eamon's room, well, they are objects related to Superman, a detail that anticipates the clash that will surely happen in the future. And we come to the post credit scene. When he arrives, there is the classic theme song by John Williams, and his look is very similar to the comics, all obviously to prepare for the beatings that the two will give each other in the future.